Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Sagittarius for mid-month of August of 2019. Your mid-months are, I mean your monthlies are up with the message from spirit and the energy healing, so you want to check those out. Also want to make sure that you subscribe to the channel and press the little bell notification because I do have videos coming out every Tuesday as well as um, going live, so you want to make sure that you get notified for that. All right, let's see what we have going on for the rest of the month of August. Ooh, guys, what is going on? All right, um, <laughs> apparently you might need this. I also have a free meditation for Archangel Raphael. Uh, we did this in the Divine Empress Club, and it was really, really powerful. So it's a guided meditation as well as the energy healing. So you can check that out. Oh, missed that one. Oh, okay, let's do that one. All right, um, in the description box and also in the comment below. All right, let's see. Hmm, okay. So we've got the Six of Wands. This is all about being recognized. Um, oh, you also... I've, Never really do that, but the deck was actually right side up and you've got the two of wands. So you might be being pulled in, excuse me, two separate directions here. One, one I feel, let me just pull this card. So one I feel as though it is like being tied down and the other one is like, it feels like a relief. Okay, so I got that with the two of wands is that you might be feeling like you're being, um, stuck. Either you're stuck or you feel like you're tied. And please remember these are general readings, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. But um, they're making me feel like you're being recognized in the place that you're stuck. Oh, it's 555 right now, guys. Angel number. So you got to let go of the past. You got to change the patterns of the past. That's what 555 means. It's like you've got to Every time I see 555, I'm like, no, I'm not doing what I'm used to doing. It has to be something new. It has to change. I have to change. My patterns have to change. My behaviors have to change. And that's what I'm getting here because in the beginning, um, this, all, this also they're making me feel here before I go into the first row here is that the six of wands also might be um, you're feeling recognized from the divine energy. So you might be getting messages or you might be getting dreams. Um, they might be reaching out to you is what I'm getting here is that I feel as though you're being pulled by the universe to see this wake up call for you, just like the 555 just came out, is that they're, they're reaching you. They're trying to reach you. They're trying to make you see. They're trying to open your eyes and see that there is something better, that there is a fresh start, a, a, fre um, a breath of fresh air doing the total opposite of what you're used to doing. Okay. So I do feel that. Um, let's go into the first row. <laughs> You've got the three of swords, you've got the four of wands, you've got the seven of swords, and you got the five of pentacles. I'm going to call it like it is, guys. <sighs> Broken hearts here. Broken hearts by shady people. Okay, so if you're in a relationship, this could be that. Um... Third, you know, three of hearts could be third party situations. I don't like to put that in your head. If you're watching this video and you've been questioning it, most likely I'm going to give you confirmation here. If you haven't been questioning it, please, please, please do not question it now. Okay. Just because of what I'm saying here. These messages are for people that need to hear them. Okay, and yes, there's a shady, shady person doing shady, shady things with multiple people. Okay, so and you're feeling left out in the dark. You're feeling like you're no good. Why am I never good enough? All right, and I'm feeling that here. So however that resonates, it could resonate with relationships. It could resonate with work. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But yes, there's some shadiness happening here. And you're not feeling good about it. Because I think you're on a whole different level, a whole different page than what this other person thinks that they're on or thinks that they can play you like they're on, 
okay? So this could definitely be narcissistic relationships here. Someone that's gaslighting you, telling you that, nope, there's nobody else when there's like five or six more people, you know, um, because there's, there's three plus two, there's like, there's five people here. So, um, and I usually don't read these cards like this. So if I'm reading it like this, there's a purpose. All right. So, um, but this is the beauty of it. Please remember that everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. That what is about to come in this row is because of this. So if this happens, I want you to move on quickly. I want you to realize that it has nothing to do with who you are as a person, as a partner. It has nothing to do with that. This has everything to do with the other person and how there's nothing inside. Okay, narcissistic people, they don't have, it's like, I, I see them as like a black hole. Okay, like on a, on a very high scale of narcissism. All right, that they're only thinking about their needs and how to survive. And that survival has nothing. You're just a, um, um, I can't think of the words I'm thinking of, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, um, not an accomplice. You know what I mean? You're a victim of their survival. Okay. But the thing is, is you're not a victim because <laughs> look at the card. Oh my God. These cards are upright. Empress is over here. On top of that, you've got the world card. And on top of that, you got the justice card. And then on top, oh my God, I, I can keep going guys. You got the four of swords. This is all about you, even though it doesn't look good right now, even though it feels like shit right now, this is all about the process that it's going to take for you to be who you are. Because look at this, you've got the lovers, you've got the two of cups, you've got the hermit, and you got the king of swords. To me, this is all about self-development. This is all about, cha not changing, um, coming awakening to your true self because the self that you were with with this person up here or the situation up here you're you weren't being true either not that you were being shady but you were just holding on to something that made you feel good at certain times but it wasn't what you wanted it's not who you are right so you've got all of this coming your way You've got the connection to the divine, to connection to you, your higher self, the person that's in there. The person before all of the, all of the crap that you've been through in your life has, has um, come on, on top of you and dimmed your light, all right? So every single thing that you've been through has created the person that you are right now. But you can shed the layers. You can shed all that stuff. You can shed the pain of the past, the relationships that didn't work out, the rejections that you've had. All of that can be shed. And through this, through the hermit card, going inside, connecting to yourself, creating the relationship that you want with someone else, with you first is what I'm getting. You got the king of swords. You realize your worth. You start to, um, you know, enforce your, first of all, establish boundaries. Second of all, enforce them and not settle for anything less because these cards are amazing over here. You know, the empress, the world, the justice, and the four of swords. You don't need to be dealing with people like this. You are far more worthy of dealing with people that treat you like this. There's no need for it. And it's time to release it. And it's time to move on and it's time to see your worth so that you can call into your life what you actually deserve. All right. As I do, law of attraction. <laughs> I love the cards. Gotta love the cards. Here we go. Okay. So law of attraction. It says each thought is an investment that pays immediate dividends. So invest wisely. You have the power to choose your thoughts and align them with love, peace, and harmony. At your request, we will gladly attune your energies to higher frequencies. Oh, I love it. I just wanted to read that one more time in the very beginning. Each thought is an investment that pays immediate dividends, so invest wisely. They say invest wisely 
because even your negative thoughts are calling negative things into your life, right? If you're wondering, why can't I make more money? Why can't I get out of this? What are the thoughts that are in your head? Those thoughts are coming from limited beliefs, which are coming from the energy that is stuck inside that has not been shifted, has not been healed. So you definitely want to check out the monthly readings with the energy healing there um, because that's going to help you shift those thoughts. And when you shift them to positivity, positive thoughts, hopeful thoughts, right? Um, you're going to start to call in good stuff into your life, not this garbage up here, not this toxicity up here. You're going to start to call in the people that want to be with you, love you, appreciate you, right? That's what that law of attraction is about. And you have creative project. Your soul longs to express itself in creative ways. You're guiding, we're guiding you to infuse artistry, artistry and creativity into your life. Creative expression makes you feel alive and excited and reignites passion towards your life. Let this go. Focus on this. That creativity that you have within is going to push you through. It's going to help you heal. It's going to help you move forward, move past all the stuff that you've been through. So that you can, you know, connect to source, to, to, to your higher self here, okay? And if you haven't checked it out, check out my video, um, The Soul vs. Spirit, and like what your higher self actually means. Uh, it was an epiphany to me as Spirit came through and he shared a message with me. So you can check that out on this channel. But creative project. So let your creativity go. Well, that is the energy, that is the vibration that you want in your life 100% of the time, at least 95% of the time, right? Because we are human. Not this. And realize this is not worth living for up here. Let it go and live for something that is so worth living for, okay? It's worth living, just let you know. <laughs> Please take my words. Please, life is worth living no matter where you are because there's always better coming if you let it in. There we go. So true. Okay. One more card though, please. There we go. My outer experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. It's what I just said. Law of attraction. My outer experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. The thoughts that you have going on, the healing, the pain, the hurt that you have inside is going to reflect on the outside. It's going to reflect with money. It's going to reflect with the people in your life. Because if you don't feel good about you, you are calling people in at the same vibration. So you want to raise your vibration so you can raise the things around you and call in things with higher vibration. Okay. <laughs> The moment I embrace my peace within and surrender the outcome is the moment the universe can truly get to work. We all have free will. We all have free will. So if you keep trying to force this and make this person or this opportunity or this situation see your worth, the more you're going to stay stuck here because it's not your job to make someone see your worth. All your job is, is to be you and shine your worth out and let the people that are attracted to that come to you. The moment I embrace my peace within and surrender the outcome is the moment that the universe can truly get to work. What a reading, guys. What a reading. All I know is that you have so much more in front of you than you do behind so let it go. Let the pain go. Let the situation go. Let the person go. You don't need it. You have so much more in front of you and the universe is here, here to show that, right? But there's so much healing that has to be done. And I wouldn't say so much, like it sounds like there's so much work, but literally it, you can shift your life in just a few weeks. I have a program coming out. It's going to show you how to do that. But seriously, in just a few weeks, you can change everything. And it all starts with your internal condition. 
My outer experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. It all starts with you, not them. All right. Whew. Much love to you. This has been an amazing reading and I'm so excited. I'm sorry that you're going to go through that or that you are going through that. Leave me some comments. Let me know what that is for you. Um, but I truly, you know, see the future for you and it is bright and it is shining. But you can't get there without going deep inside. Okay. And dealing with the issues of the past. And it doesn't have to hurt to do that. Okay. All right. Whew. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe. Um, and also check out, especially with this, check out the Archangel Raphael energy healing that is down in the description box and the comments. All right. Much love to you. I, I wish you the best of the rest of August and I'll see you in September. Much love. Bye.